Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today I want to talk about a Joanna Russ novel. The first novel I read of Joanna Russ was her debut novel, Picnic on Paradise. I found it to be a very enjoyable adventure. Today's novel is the second that I've read from her, and it is our 25th in the Ace Science Fiction Special Series 1. And Chaos Died by Joanna Russ, 1970. Robert Silverberg says on the back, a dazzling, baffling, ferociously inventive, subtle, sleek, and brilliant book. A work of irresistible charm, fertile wit, awesome originality. I wouldn't really call it a novel at all. I'd call it a trip. And trip is with a capital. Samuel R. Delaney says, Many novels have dealt speculatively with psi phenomena, describing the effects on people and society. Miss Russ has taken it on herself to put the reader through the experience. She is wholly successful, and Chaos Died is a spectacular experience to undergo. In the late 60s and early 70s, there was a lot of experimentation in writing novels. In science fiction, this was called the New Wave. Russ's first novel was a straightforward adventure. This novel starts out as an adventure, but it warps into a trip. Trip with a capital T, as Robert Silverberg says. We begin on a spaceship in space. The spaceship is about to explode. The captain and our protagonist are in a lifeboat that goes to a planet. This planet is populated by humans, but these are humans with psionic powers powers to such a degree that they can manipulate matter and energy. The captain has difficulty accepting that they have psionic powers. He thinks these are tricks. Our protagonist, though, is drawn into the community and begins to develop psionic powers of his own. At first, this seemed to be one of those novels where you examine the culture or society on a planet. One of the castaways becomes assimilated in that society and culture. The other rejects it. About halfway through the novel, they are rescued. But what if you don't want to be rescued? The psionic power of the people of the planet is so strong that they can actually send a person teleporting to the spaceship. Our protagonist himself will teleport down to Earth. And this is an Earth, a messed up Earth from what we know. For the last half of the novel, we have a psionic perspective, a perspective that is totally alien to us, a completely experimental written work. Frustratingly, there really isn't any plot from this point forward. At first, I thought this was one of those novels that you go along with the protagonist and learn about a culture and society, but it just got weirder and weirder. Psychosis and sexual experiences changed our protagonist. It's as if our minds were melting into each other, a hive experience with this group of people. I think the Leo and Diane Dillon cover actually gives us a feel for this too. We have a person down here and a person up here, and the cover really doesn't change a lot if you put it upside down, but it looks like they are kind of joining in the middle here. I had a difficult time with this novel. Once I realized that I was just going to be getting this trip and no plot, I didn't really even want to finish it. Once again, my commitment to read through the A specials got me through. If you're looking for a trippy, psionic experience, well, this novel is for you. For me, I just found it weird and frustrating. I give it 3 out of 10. I do have another Joanna Rust novel that I plan to read, and I hope it is more like the first one. I have it in the SF Masterworks series from Golanx. The Female Man. This one's copyright is 1975. So have you read Joanna Russ? Which novel do you prefer of hers? Did you have a better experience with And Chaos Died than I did? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep reading.